Bare eyes today, the straight line eyeshadow technique for downturned, hooded, or aging eyes. I am bringing that to you in a tutorial right now. Hello friends, I'm so happy that you're here with me today because I am going to be sharing with you what is called the straight line eyeshadow technique. This is by no means a new technique and it is by no means my technique. This is something that I learned a long time ago from Wayne Goss. I think he may have put this video out more than five years ago, but I have been using it often and I have incorporated it a little bit into other videos that I've shown with you before, but I wanted to really deep dive into it and get a tutorial so that you can see. Now, what is interesting about it and what is really great about it for a mature woman or someone with hooded eyes is this right here, all of this lid right here, this space, this is the space that we, it'll either sag down as we age or you already might have hooded eyes. I don't really have hooded eyes too much, but I sure have the sagging right here. And I also have this downturn where I have a little flap right there on the edge. But I will make sure that I link Wayne's video so that you can watch it. It's a lot faster paced than I do. Just so you know that but it is a great video so i'll make sure that i link that down below the first thing i'm going to start off with is eyeshadow primer i don't have any on yet my anastasia beverly hills is what i start off with because this eyeshadow primer not only grips your eyeshadow so well it really just gives an opaque surface to start with on that eye and it really is a great eyeshadow primer i talk about it all the time and i try different ones all the time and i always come back to this one because it's just probably the best that i've ever used for the purposes of this video i've chosen to go a little bit darker than you guys have seen me in a while but this will make it easier for you to be able to see and you to be able to recreate keep in mind that you can go as light as you want or as dark as you want. So I'm using the Making Mauves from ColourPop palette. I just thought it would be a nice change from a neutral. We're gonna go into a little bit of purple. So the darkest color right here, I'm taking a smudger brush. This is the BK Beauty smudger brush. And what we're gonna start with, and this is how Wayne does this as well, we're gonna start with the bottom lash line and making like a template where we're going to actually put that. So you're gonna start in that corner of your eye. And before I get started, I do have a palsy in my hands that makes me shake. I do apologize if that makes anybody nervous. I just shake. So that is nothing that I can really control. So I'm starting out here. Wayne goes clear across the eye. I don't do that. I go just barely in that outer part and then I lift it just a tiny bit into the corner where my fold is. And I will do that on both eyes. For quite some time I haven't used the tape. I used to use this constantly, but this works best if you have a template. You don't have to do this. You don't have to use the tape at all. You can put um, like a tissue up there. You can use a credit card. You can use a piece of uh, thin cardboard, whatever you want. We're gonna go right underneath where we just placed that eyeliner and we're gonna put this tape at the tail of the eyebrow. So my eyebrows are already done and we're just making a template for where we're gonna be sticking the next eyeshadow. And again, on this eye, you might be able to see a little bit better right underneath where I just put the tape and then right out to the tail of the eyebrow. Okay, open your eye up all the way and just look straight ahead. And right above your pupil is where you want that line to start exactly above the pupil. So that's where the eyeshadow is gonna start. And then you're gonna take it in a straight line instead of going curved at all, because if you curve, you're gonna pull it down. And you don't wanna do that. If uh, Wayne talks about if anything, pull it up. But we're gonna just try to make it as straight as we possibly can. I'm gonna go into the medium mauve that's in here. And like I said, I would normally do this a little bit lighter, but we're doing it a little bit darker at the center of my eye. And then I'm going to just very gently, in a straight line, pull my eyeshadow all the way out to the tail. You can use a more precision brush if you feel like you need it. That's fine too. Then take what's on your brush and fill that in. Like so. Very easy, not a big deal. Now you can raise your eyebrows a little bit and go into this outer part of your eye if you want to. 
but we have just created our straight line which you'll see very starkly when i take off that tape all right same thing on this other eye start open your eye up straight ahead i'm trying not to get my mirror in in camera view but it's really hard open your eye up start right at the top of your pupil and go straight out this is going to create the illusion of a lifted eye instead of a downturned one. Fill that space in. If you need to raise your eyebrows a little bit, go ahead, fill that space in, and fill in right out there on the outside part of your eye. You don't want to over-exaggerate that inside part. You just want to stay on a straight line. If you want to, you can use less of a fluffy brush. That probably would have worked a little bit better for this demo, but this is a Refer 01. This is one of my favorite brushes that I work with so many times, and it just works really well for everything. Okay, let me show you how easy that was and how quickly that went. Now we have this straight line. We've come straight out from our eye. We have done a complete eye look almost, just with one eyeshadow. And it is a little bit darker, I know, but like I said, use a medium eyeshadow if you don't like it darker, or if you want it more stark, go starker with it. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And then what's left on my brush, I'm gonna bring just towards that, and I'm going to take off this harsh edge just by really buffing here and making it softer. And that's all you're doing is you're just the rest of the time you are going to be buffing and what you'll notice is this looks a little bit darker down here that's because that's where i put a lot of shadow not because i'm using two different colors so this is really easy and quick as far as that uh, goes as far as you know not having to use a bunch of different colors on here you're just using a couple and it just works out so well. Now, since this palette doesn't have a lot of light colors in it, I'm actually gonna grab the Norvina palette. I've been using this because I've been wanting to do some tutorials for you because it was on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, or will be. I think it will be tomorrow. So that's something for you to think about. I'm gonna go in with just a regular, this is kind of a medium shader brush, and I'm just gonna put that up in my eyebrow line just to soften everything just a little bit now back to the making mobs palette i'm going to go into i think this pink color right here and i'm going to just very lightly take it across by my eyelid just to create a little bit of light right there and a little bit of reflect a little bit of reflect gives us softness now if you want to clean off your brush again i just cleaned that one off and i'm going to go in there one more time with that same light color and i'm going to bring that into my inner corner just to lighten it up with just a white color instead of, it's actually off-white, instead of any other color. All right, go back in with that smudger brush from BK Beauty and just kind of smudge all of this on the bottom towards the tail of your eye look. And if you have any residuals from taking the tape off, you can take some concealer and put it in there. And then I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I like my liquid eyeliner. As most of you know, it just works really well for me. One of the things I talk about quite often in my tutorials is that when I do put my eyeliner on to tight line my upper lashes, it is so that they look a little bit thicker and I stay as tight as I possibly can. But when I get out here, I don't go all the way down because that's going to defeat our purpose. It's going to pull us more down. So I stop about an eighth of an inch away from that end and I fill it in a little bit thicker out there, just a little bit. And if you want to, you can fill that in with eyeshadow. I find that what I've done with already tight lining or smudging out that bottom line works great. So there you have it, the straight line technique in a nutshell. I hope that that was easy for you to follow and that you got some help in seeing how you can lift your eye up instead of having it pulled down. You know, if you follow the socket of your eye, especially if you're older, it's always going to be pulled down. And this always, this skin is going to look pulled down anyway. So lifting it up can really make us look more youthful and be very helpful. I do hope that you have gotten a chance to see Wayne's video. He's just a master and I love him to death. And so if you haven't had a chance to maybe go over and check his out and compare it and see what you think, I get a little bit more wordy and I get told that a lot. So I totally understand. I hope that you do get a chance to try it. If you do, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think of this technique and if it worked well for you. I hope everybody is doing very well. Please take care of yourselves. I love you very much and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye, my friends.